Welcome to Growl, your source for Chicago Bears and NFL news. And now your host and Bears expert, Gage. Welcome to Growl. I'm Gage, your host for Bears and NFL news. Now it's been a couple weeks and I'm super excited to show you guys my new free agency video. But before I get into that, I have a mystery guest. This guest is smart. Ooh. Handsome. Very mean <gasps> sometimes. And super uber duper famous. Without further ado, true. Alrighty. So I'm pretty sure that you guys have all heard of the Kareem Hunt incident. He later in the season kicked a girl and hit a girl, and he was released by the Chiefs. This makes me so, so mad because he got signed by the Browns. Again, this makes me super mad because you can't do something so bad like this and then get a second chance and get signed. My second thought about this is that NFL teams need to teach Kareem Hunt and others not to do this stuff because it'll make the NFL a better place. And a better, like... Place NFL. in general. Yeah, better NFL. Cody Parkey got released. Big news. We all saw it coming. Cody Parkey got released. And so, I thought that Robbie Gold was going to replace Ro uh, Cody Parkey. But the 49ers, unfortunately, put a franchise tag on Robbie Gold, and that ends our hopes for having him as our kicker. But, you know, there's always next season, so... Uh, he... I don't know what we're going to do to find another kicker, because Redford Jones certainly isn't going to take the spot. So, I'm just blaming you on that. What do you have to say about this? Uh, what I have to say is... And the Eagles. Eagles versus the Bears. You know how it was 16 to 15. Everyone was like, please let us get that field goal. On the, on, on, uh, the other, on the other game, Cody Parkey hit the field goal four times. Pretty surprised. And uh, it was pretty not cool. Yeah. And I wanted, I wanted, I think it's a good thing that the Bears got really release of him. Yep, I totally agree with you. My next point that I want to share with you is that uh, the positions that the Bears need to improve during the offseason. They need a kicker, like we just explained, safety, defensive end, cornerback, and kick returner. I think that we need the kick returner the most. We have like five kick returners this and season. And one of them is Tyree Cohen. I love Tyree Cohen. Yes. But yeah, we have like five kick returners and we don't really have a solid one. So we really need a good kick returner. Um, going along with that, I want to share, sh share with you some of the players that the Bears should sign. Uh, sign or re-sign. Bryce Callahan, he has been awesome and has really proved himself last season. I think the Bears should totally re-sign him. Aaron Lynch, they should re-sign him too. The Bears need um, more pass rushers, and he would be just a right fit for the Bears to re-sign him. Because, yes, the Bears defense is amazing, but you can always improve. Three, Tyran Matthew. He was very good, but an injury took him down. But he still shows imp improvement and always is a good fit for us. Four, Dwayne Harris. He's a stellar player and we really need a kick returner. That's where the kick returner uh, thing comes in. Dwayne Harris would be very good for us. We need, this is going to sound a little funny, but we need an offensive line. Huh? I think we need to make Trubisky's Trubisky's job safer and get a better O-line. Also, we need to restructure Kyle Long's contract because he keeps getting hurt. And do not get me wrong, he plays very good when he's healthy, but he keeps getting older and more injured. So they should restructure his uh, contract. My next point is Antonio Brown.
around getting traded. Brown has not been a great teammate this year. He has done multiple things that is not good for the Steelers. Antonio Brown may be a great prayer player, but he really needs to focus on being a great teammate and think about his own actions. There are still too many rumors uh, going around to see where he's going. What do you feel about that? Uh, I don't. I feel like he's a very good receiver. Yeah, but I feel like Antonio Brown should not be able to play anymore. What? He wasn't a good player. Not a great teammate. teammate. Yeah. Yes, he's a very good um, wide receiver. Yes. But yes, like you said, he might not be. He, he might not be a great fit for the Steelers, but maybe for other teams. Yeah. Now, Le'Veon Bell. This is interesting. I really do not know what is happening to Le'Veon Bell. He has not accepted the franchise tag, and he didn't play last season. So again, too many rumors going around. But I do know one rumor is that the Raiders might be interested in him. But, you know, too many rumors. Wraps up my free agency video, and once the combine wraps up, I'll do a video about that just for you. We'll see you next time on Wow!